So guys, the 24th of this month is going to be a public holiday because Mohozi Kainerugaba, President Museveni's son, is celebrating his birthday. Hey, my guy, Uganda is getting more interesting. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anyway, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, before we go to that Mohozi story, let me first update you about what is happening elsewhere. Actually, it's very sad news at Kampala International University, commonly known as KIU, after losing their student called Akangunda Evers. Uh, Akangunda Evers was in her fourth year and she was studying to be a doctor and at the time of her death, she was in a big hospital in Kiriandongo where she had gone for internship. They actually found her dead in her room where she was sleeping. And by the way, Evers is a second university student to die in a period of two weeks. Uh, recently, another Makere University student was involved in an accident and she died instantly. And now Evers has followed. It's so bad. May their souls rest in peace. Uh, in other news, if you have been on social media, you must have seen a video of five UPDF officers posing with a human skull and a freshly burnt human being and these guys were in Karamoja, northern Uganda. And that's one of the reasons why a section of Karamojong in northern Uganda are accusing UPDF of being behind the killings that are ongoing in northern Uganda. Now, the latest news I have on the Buzz UG is that these five UPDF officers have been arrested and they are going to be disciplined for their actions. You know, according to the reports that I have on the Buzz UG, the situation in northern Uganda is still tense. People are protesting. Basically, the situation is not yet calm in northern Uganda. However, UPDF says last week they managed to kill 13 cattle rustlers and 700 animals have been recovered from the cattle rustlers. Yeah, so that is what is coming in from northern Uganda. And of course, this is a big story, by the way. It's trending so big time. People are dying in northern Uganda. We don't know what is going on in northern Uganda. And of course, we hope that the security, especially UPDF, they are doing what they can to make sure that they calm down the situation in northern Uganda. I'll keep you posted on this story. So guys, I told you on the 24th of April, this month is going to be Mohozi Kainerugaba's birthday, President Museveni's son. And guess what? We might have that day as a public holiday. Now, Balam Barugahara has revealed that himself and the friends of Mohozi Kainerugaba have petitioned public service to declare 24th a public holiday to enable Ugandans celebrate Mohozi Kainerugaba's birthday. Balam revealed this news through his official social media platforms. So we are now waiting. I don't know if this day is going to be allowed to be a public holiday but this is something that we are now waiting on but my guy uganda is getting very interesting i'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> and and by the way some people are questioning that naye balam what is going on huh? <laughs> anyway i'll keep you posted on this story uh what you have to do subscribe to the buzz ug in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications we are the buzz ug thank you <laughs>